Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be cooking some chicken patulitos with some Spanish rice. Um, right here you can see I'm just mixing up some onions, green pepper, um, cilantro, cloves, olive oil, black pepper, and salt to make some homemade rac racaito. I don't know how to say it. And then um, right here I'm just cutting off the fat from the chicken that we'll be making today. Yes sir, right here. Mm-hmm, cutting up that chicken real good, getting rid of that fat. And then we're gonna start with some seasoning. We're gonna use some um sazon on the chicken, you know, get it nice, get it in there a little bit. I had to wash my hands because I was like, wait, I gotta use more seasoning. But we put a little bit of coarse black pepper in there, some garlic powder. And we just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, you know. Then we're gonna turn it on the other side, mix it, mix it, mix it some more, you know. Like, mix it, mix it, mix it. We're gonna put the same seasonings that we had on before, you know. Get your sazon, get your black pepper, get your garlic powder. And just do what you gotta do, you know. Like use whatever, use whatever seasons you wanna use, but make sure you put some some sauce on. Now this, I put, I actually, I accidentally put some vercaito in there, and I didn't realize I was already making homemade vercaito. So yeah, but right here, got some pigeon beans boiling. And um, I just added some red bell peppers in there. I'm just going to let that um, sit in there. And then I put two packets of sazon. And we're just going to let that simmer for a little bit before we add the rice. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to just stir it. Stir it, stir it, stir it. You just gotta stir those pigeon peas so well that they turn into an actual pigeon. Then we put some sofrito in there. I I forgot to put my um <clears throat> I forgot to record putting the rice in, but the rice has been added in. Um, I had just put some sofrito in there, you know, get it all nice, nice of rice, get that rice tasting nice, you know, and yeah, we just gonna let that boil till it can't boil no more, you know, get that rice nice and good up, good up, good up rice. Just to let y'all know, I'm half Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm making this rice. Yeah, as you guys can see, the rice is starting to cook. And the water is starting to go down, you know. Gotta cook it and mix it while it's being cooked. You know? Yeah, so we're just gonna watch this be done. Yes, the rice is almost done. It's basically done. We're just gonna stir it one more time. You know, get that extra water out. Make sure that rice is nice and fluffy. We got your pigeon peas in there. Now we got the chicken in here. Now I shaved up the chicken so we could put it in the pastelito shell. And I added a little bit of homemade vacaito in there. So it could cook and the 
flavors can sink into the chicken. Now I just added a little bit of water so the um, chicken won't burn. And we're just gonna let that sit in there and cook. You know? And it just looks so amazing and flavorful. Like, I really did that. Like, I can't believe this is happening. And yeah, we just dropping those juices on the chicken, making sure it's juicy. Then we're gonna take the chicken out. <clears throat> take the chicken out. You know that's done. We're gonna let that other chicken that's not shredded yet um, cook. Now we got the pastelito disc. Now what you wanna do? You don't wanna put too much chicken right here. I should have shredded my chicken a little bit more, but it's okay. Um, don't put too much chicken in here because if you put too much chicken, it's not going to close properly. Um, so here I am adding my chicken. I am attempting to close it, but as you can see, I put a lot of chicken in there, so I have to take it out. And um, you want to use a fork to close down your edges of the disc. So that it has those little lines that you know a regular pasta has. Um, and then as you can see, I'm closing it off on all sides so the chicken doesn't come out, and getting it prepared to go into the oil so it can fry on both sides, as you can see. And voila, we have our chicken empanadas with rice and if you guys liked my video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.